viewers i have often tried to make the point that we ought to be very careful about the names that we answer to and our grandparents and teachers have been telling us for years that word is power let me declare from early that this video is based on my observation having covered many stories since i started this youtube channel stories related to wanted men men who are persons of interest men who have been on the run men arrested charged tried convicted sentenced for murder for rape and most of these men have one thing in common they answer to some very strange and suggestive names and again let me make the point clear that i'm not speaking from a standpoint of actual scientific research this is just based on my observation in my view it is lost than many of us as jamaican the awesome power that can be wrapped up in a name The names that we answer to, the names that we allow people to call us, they influence our personality. They influence us whether consciously or subconsciously. And some people over time even evolve into their name. They take on the meaning of their name. And the names now influence their thought process, their actions, and it becomes their alter egos. I will share with you a few aliases of men who I have come across who have been either wanted men, who have been charged, sentenced for murders. They have been living a criminal life. Watch this. What was that name? What was that? What was that name? Name. Name. Oh, I know name. Never tell your son name. Mama would know what name. Mama said name. Name. Oh, I know name. Never tell your son name. Mama would know what. Would know what name ninja. So it's a boom stick. Murderer. Killer. Killy. 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 Kill quick, rifleman, rifle king, shotis, king evil, spent shell, dog heart, sicked, preke, Hitler, voodoo, monkey man, monster, bad boy, John Crow, but in Jamaica we say John Crow, phantom killer, terminator boy, bug, doppy film, grave digger, grimy, grimy boss, bughead, bossed, grim reaper, raper, boss me, brutus, Doggy, devil, slug, fry eye, cat, fishy, scaly, lobster, bully, puppy jaw, briefy, jawbone, ratty, tuggy tuggy, chucky, plank, fee fee, ski mask, and done. And these are just a few names. And I am sure you can list many more in the comment section of men who you know have lived a life of criminality. And like many recent videos that I have done, trying to reach to a few youths, if I even want youth, I want the youth them to sit down and meet that something here. Be careful of the names that you answer to. No make nobody call on a certain name. Don't take on certain names onto yourselves. You might not realize, but these names tend to become a part of us and tend to take over our lives because we are now trying to live up to our moniker. We are trying to live up to the name that people call us. Whether we realize it or not, whether it is a conscious thing or it's a subconscious thing, it is happening. And yes, I know some people are going to say, yo, teach. You know, I'm not sure about that because look for a bounty killer. Killer not nah, kill nobody. With everything in life, there are exceptions to the rule. You will have people who have some names where they don't really do certain things. But the truth is, all the names that I have mentioned are men who have been involved in serious crimes. Whether it is murder, whether it is rape, whether it is shooting, all the names that I have mentioned have a criminal record. And some of us as adults give our children some strange names from them small. Like, you know, realize what you're doing. You are culturing a certain thought process. You are now causing this child to want, whether consciously or subconsciously, become the name by which they are referred. Whether consciously or subconsciously, they take on to them the characteristics of the names that we call them. Kingman, Empress, call you them some decent names. 
some sensible names. Call the youths them some sensible names. Some names will uplift and motivate and encourage. Not names that have a negative connotation and foster a certain type of thinking. And again, I just share my views, my opinion based on observation, based on cheating with multiple articles down the year with men with aliases that are very strange. And when you sit down and analyze it, you realize that these men are living their aliases. They have taken on the personality to match that name and they slide down a slippery slope. Respect to my brother them, Twin of Twins. For the video footage. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!